So I just did a wheel spin and won a BMW, or BMW, I'm sorry, BMW Z4 iDrive Elemento PQ10 315SI. And I want to take that thing and build it, paint it, race it, and you know, I'm probably going to throw it on the auction block after that. So let's head back over there in this lightning fast Trans Am and pull this BMW Elemento ZK 350Z something out and build it, paint it, and race it. Stay tuned. Okay, so here I am in my garage trying to find this car that I just won. And let's see. That's it right there. BMW, BMW Z4 S Drive 35 IS. Or is it SD Arrive 351S? I don't know. I can't say that where I live you see many of these. I know other places I've lived near bigger cities and such, you'll see these things around, but here it's pretty rugged, so you don't really see many BMWs to begin with, much less a small convertible sports coupe. So it's kind of a neat little car, not really my thing in the real world, but I'm expecting this to be a really good handling car. So let's make this a car for handling. Not a drift car, an actual car that we would like to take and race with so I know some people are big fans of two-wheel drive not me anytime I'm playing a game I'm gonna go with the all-wheel drive option now I have something I can change to but in my infinite wisdom I've chosen to put my beautiful face right there on top of the screen where it tells me what engine this is I do see that it gives me 175 horsepower, but what I'm looking at mostly here is the type of power curve. See with our stock engine, the way it comes in low and then ramps up, that kind of tells me it's probably a turbocharged engine. As to where this one here starts out pretty even, goes across and then peaks up higher at a much later time. I'm going to go ahead and go with this. It's probably, probably a naturally aspirated engine to start with. And is going to be a good engine to build so adding the turbos actually takes away some torque down low here but brings it back really hard later on let's see what happens when I go to this positive displacement supercharger it's kind of what I was expecting here so even though it's fun to use the turbos a lot when you actually look at what it does on the dyno here going with the positive displacement supercharger is a no-brainer it gives you more torque at low rpms so we have done that now let's top out everything we can whoops I skipped one go back and get exhaust how can you forget exhaust I really wish when you did exhaust on this game, it would change the exhaust tips on the back of the car or give you the option to change those some other way. So what did that just do? Let's go back in here. So we just went from this right here, which is our engine with the new supercharger on it and increased our power, what, uh, 145 horsepower. But we pretty much brought the whole curve everything came up together not just a big peak what i call a peaky engine where it's laggy and then a lot of power all of a sudden in a short rpm window this brought everything up real high so we're over 500 foot pounds of torque right off idle that's amazing that's what you want uh, my camera just lagged there for a minute so i'm not sure if you guys picked up on that or if it's something i'm just seeing on my end Go ahead and add the intercooler, some other cooling items, and a lightweight flywheels. 
big break since we're going to erase this thing. We want to go with the performance road type suspension, sway bars, nice adjustable sway bars. Tell you guys, I'm really looking forward to the next Forza Motorsports to come out. I'm looking forward to some serious racing that does not include cornfields, fences, what else is there? Jumps, mud holes. Nobody takes a Lamborghini through a mud hole. Let's stay off the wheels for a bit because you know me and my addiction to wheels. I'll stay there forever. Let's see. Looks like some pretty basic wings available here. I'm going to go with them even though I don't like them just for functionality. Now we want to go with the stickiest and widest tires. Oh, don't do that. Stickiest and widest tires we can get. Rim diameter can only go to a 19. That's a good thing because I didn't want to go up to a really large wheel diameter. And if it was an option, it would have been tempting for me. So I'm kind of glad that it's not an option. Now this time, instead of going with the wheel that I really like, I want to go with something that's kind of a racy, race inspired type wheel. I really like that right there. And it's kind of racy, race inspired wheel. Let's go with this. That pretty much gets us where we want to be on the build. Install setup. So we're spending 101,000 credits on this free car. We dropped a couple hundred pounds, not quite 200, but we went from a peak horsepower of 335 to over 1,000 horsepower. We went from 9 tenths of a G on the skid pad to 1.1, which brings us to an S2938. One of the things I did on this that could maybe be done different is I did install the full roll cage which I didn't have to do, but I'm thinking it's going to be a race car. So let's go ahead and whatever benefits there's supposed to be in the game for that, let's go ahead and take advantage of it. Let's slap a quick tune on it. I like to run my tire pressure all the way on the ground. All right, gearing. We'll just change it a teensy bit. 373s, that's a real number. Uh, we'll leave our alignment pretty basic stiffness on the sway bars I'll move up a little not a huge amount gonna leave the springs alone dampening anytime I just dampening and talk about the bound and rebound stiffness it's kinda like when I have to put something in alphabetical order I have to say the entire alphabet in order to say something in alphabetical order or to like put a file in a certain spot. And so every time I'm adjusting my bound and rebound, I have to think bound, rebound, bound, rebound. Okay. So you'll see me doing that in some videos, I'm sure. And now you'll know why. Uh, let's see here. We did make this all-wheel drive. I like a pretty mediocre balance, if not leaned a little bit towards the front. In order to help with those tight turns, I like to open up the differential. Let's go ahead and apply that. Wait, did I, did I do my arrow? Yes, I did. So now let's make this thing look good. That blue is not a cool color in my opinion. Black is looking pretty dang sharp. but we can't make a race car black. The mirrors cannot be painted because they are made of chrome or plastic or the car does not have mirrors. Newsflash, plastic can be painted. You can actually paint over chrome, just maybe not a good idea. Now this car was not originally equipped with a wing, but I am allowed to paint it somehow. Let's black out these windows. No, 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 race car. Race cars don't have black windows, Brian. There we go. Stay with me a bit here. This might get ugly. 
It always does when I first start off. While I paint, I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to go ahead and get the beautiful picture of my face out of the corner, speed this up, cue some music, and do a speed paint through this section. So hang on. As soon as the paint's over with, we'll take this car for a spin.
Okay, so here's our finished product. I think it turned out pretty good. And just like I expected, it's something that I kind of thought was heading south for a little bit. I thought this is going to look terrible. But as I kept going and kept thinking about what a race car would look like if it was sponsored by Clutch Trick Gaming, I kind of came up with this here and it and it works. In the end, it comes up looking kind of the way I want it to. We've got the red, white, and blue without a red, white, and blue type of look and we've got our logo on there we've got the event sticker there it's got our number so it's kind of like you go to a race they give you the sticker it's got the number on it and threw a little splash of color on the top gave ourselves the clutch and sun salvage sponsorship and uh, some youtube stickers that i made up there so yeah that pretty much gets us to where we want to be it looks like it could actually be a race car now the new question is can i drive a race car i don't know but i'm going to take it out and i'm going to race it and i'm going to let you watch who do we want to race let's do it anything goes and pick our little bmw I want to say a special thanks to clutch and sun salvage for sponsoring us this year you can see my front yard right now it actually looks like a salvage yard i just bought an old pickup truck for 500 bucks parked it out there with the three other cars we have and so when you're driving down the street you see this house that's like the front yard's just full of crap and that's my house right now so i will do a video in a few days and show you my 500 hundred dollar ford as for now let's take this sucker for a spin by the looks of the other cars here i'm pretty much going to get destroyed except for maybe those suvs Oh, wow, yeah, we got some Ford GTs, we got some Vipers. Those guys should be just destroying me here any minute. Not impressed by how slow I'm passing that Evo. Uh-oh, we're topped out. 196 miles per hour. That's not good. Not familiar with the track, so I am looking down at my mini-map, and I'm hitting walls. But I'm in the lead right now, so... Let's go, let's go. Don't let him catch us. On the brakes. Car likes to slide. Of course, you're actually watching me drive this for the first time. All together, like the first. <laughs> haven't tuned it really. Haven't driven it. You're just watching me complete. Complete noob with this car. So we're going to drive like a noob at times. Like that right there. Now let me stop talking for a second. And get down to the need to greet Whoops. Maybe I should be serious and start driving. And get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, oh, did I catch it? Did I catch that? Ah! You're not watching me rewind right now. This is not happening. In fact, you may be going very sleepy right now. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, man, I blew that. I hope this is like a five lap race. So I know the car's got the power because we did pull out into the front at the beginning. So this is just a matter of me getting with it here. Come on, Brian. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Let's go here. Pretty long track. I don't know how many laps we've got. Kind of feels like the car is really slippery. I know we put good tires on it, but it really doesn't feel like it. Wants to understeer a bit. Oh no, that's the finish. That can't be the finish already. I haven't had a chance to win. No! Oh, mid-pack. Sixth place. Got to be by an SUV. I'm going to have to restart this. 
but you are not watching me restart this. This is not happening right now. In fact, you're growing very sleepy. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not too proud to show when I fail. Oh no. How are these Range Rovers so fast? Look at that thing, it's keeping up with the Viper there. You know if this was real life, holy cow. It wouldn't matter what you did to that Range Rover, it would not be keeping up with that race-tuned, race-built Viper. Why did I not take that moment to tune my car with what little bit of information I gleaned on that last pass? Could have definitely opened up the gear ratio a little bit. Okay, in contention for first place. This is where we want to be. Now if I just keep my mouth shut and focus on what I'm doing. Uh, every time I talk, I start to wreck. You shall not pass. Oh, maybe you shall. Maybe you shall. Yep, you shall. You shall pass. And I shall pass too. No, move the trees out of the track. Can I go this way? Maybe it would have helped me if I didn't hit the stinking train. Come on, drive like a kid, drive like a kid. You can do it, you can do it. Put him in the wall, put him in the wall. Oh no. Hey, wait a minute. I thought that was the end of the race. That wasn't the finish. The finish is up here. Ugh. Anyways. <laughs> Tenth place. Come on. I should get some of the Clutch and Sun Salvage stickers. Oh, dang it. I did it again. I went through without tuning it. And put them on... Oh, this is not the same course. Dang it. Put them on the old truck, on the $500 Ford. I just missed that again, didn't I? No, I didn't. Total different course, so now I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not practiced. I'm going to lose this again. I'm going to shut up now and go for real. Cargo, go, go, go. Ah, I'm losing.
third place. Not where I wanted to be. So there you go. The BMW huge last huge like Z4 iDrive something. I don't remember what it's called. There was a 350 in there somewhere, I think. Anyway, there it is. Won it in a wheel spin. Built it, painted it, tried to race it, embarrassed myself, and made a video. So, there you go. This library is currently shared, so feel free to check it out. Of course, my uh, gamertag is Clutch Trick. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day.